Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I have a bit of an unboxing. Uh, my buddy Bo from Kansas uh, with the YouTube channel Ramblin' Backroads uh, sent me a box. So uh, he said this was coming in the mail, didn't say what it was, but it somehow involves one of his videos, but not directly. So I guess this is an indirect something from one of his videos. So let's dig into it and see uh, see what's in the box. Gonna bust out the, the sturdy old bug here and uh, get to cutting. There's a lot of duct tape on this, so it's secure and not gonna just fall open. Which leads me to believe that this box is filled with dangerous spiders, uh, banana spiders, uh, which are the worst. Uh, and this is just a sabotage but we'll see if i die from banana spiders you know who did it so let's get in the box if i can uh, let's i'm almost there almost there one last cut hopefully it's not me While I'd prefer to get a cut than a burn, I don't want either. Almost closed the knife on my thumb. That would have uh, that would have been a real uh oh. But let's. What did I do? What? I'm about to just rip the box. I think that's what's gonna happen. Ripping the box. Ugh. Oh my goodness! I ripped the box, Bo. I hope you're okay with that. Oh, well, that's pretty cool right there. And it looks like it's a window decal. Oh, I, I'm definitely going to have to save this. So when I, uh, when I go from uh, a car to something uh, a little bit more me, but, uh, say Mac at the movies, it looks like a decal sticker. And so uh, it's got the film there. That's awesome, Bo. Thank you, sir. Oh, that, that is really cool. I am very much so in love with that. And then let's see here. We got some candies, some peppermint candies. And I'm just going to dump out the box. The cat's going to love everything in here. Hello, kitty cat. Uh, I didn't get the box dumped out for a second before uh, for Wild Bill here decided to get into it. Say hello, Bill. He's like, Old man, put me down. I'm not the little one. I'm not going to be your little toy. Bill, Bill, Bill. I've teased you with the uh, the confetti. Lots of red confetti in this one. Uh, oh, it's the little one now. Oh boy, I did not prepare myself for this. Let me... See, well, I'm going to move that right here, move this over here, and I pulled this little sweetheart out of the box, a good old-fashioned VHS, which uh, will probably be on a, an upcoming rewind, because frankly, I've been thinking about this movie for a while, and uh, it seems like uh, the last time you did this, Bo, uh, there was a movie in the box that I had been thinking about for some time uh, and just hadn't watched either because I didn't have it or I have stuff tucked away and everywhere that I'm just now getting stuff pulled out that um, to finally watch it. But this one, I remember when I got this on VHS for Christmas one year, um, used to be a huge fan of this TV show. And when I saw the movie came out, I was completely obsessed and that is The Mask of Zorro. I freaking, I don't know what it was about Zorro that I loved so much growing up, but I remember watching the heck out of it uh, on Nick at Night. So uh, thank you, Bo. I'm, I'm definitely going to give this one a good go. And he was kind. He made sure to rewind. <laughs> Anywho, uh, let's see, what's, see what else is in the box. The, uh, the kittens are very excited. Oh wait, it opens here. Maybe I can just open it. I, I got crazy and I ripped it open on the side. 
Uh, I didn't even cut that side. What, what am I doing? Out of all the boxes in the world that I've opened, I've done this one like a complete idiot. But maybe that'll work. Okay, come on. Bill, you rascal, get down. I'll give you some catnip later, and then you can get your kitty high on and roll around like you've lost your marbles. Does that sound good? You'll get your kitty high on? Get away from the knife, Bill. Jeez, if it's not a peppermint, it's a knife. Gotta keep an eye on these cats. Okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Another peppermint. I do enjoy me a good old-fashioned peppermint. Oh, whoa. I have not had this in forever. And while I like peppermint, I also like gums of sorts. All sorts of gum. Uh, primarily peppermint and original bubble. Uh, and here we have some Big League Chew. I, I didn't even know you could buy this anymore. I, I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere in years. But we got some Big League Chew. So I'm definitely going to give that a go. Let's see here. Another old peppermint here. I really love those peppermints too because they're like the pillowy kind. They just pretty much dissolve in your mouth. It's like a buttermint or a an after dinner mint almost. And then we got a couple of packets of hot cocoa because you can't go wrong with hot cocoa. I even have larger than normal mugs for such a drink. Uh, so I, I save all my really big mugs for, for good old cocoa. So got a card here. Make sure, oh, I almost missed another peppermint. You always gotta triple check. Or you miss things. Oh no. Cats, I swear, if your curiosity doesn't kill you, well, I'm not gonna kill my cats. Because I love them too much. But boy howdy. Something will. Okay. I swear, little missy. Alright. Little Merry Christmas in July. I, I didn't see it in a video. I saw it in a a Facebook post, I believe. Uh, Bo had, uh, well, you can't really see it that far away, but let's see if maybe, there we go. Little Merry Christmas in July. Uh, he posted a photo on his uh, Facebook uh, where they had set up a tree in uh, their den, living room area, and it was uh, a little Christmas in July celebration. So I didn't see that in a video yet, so I'm assuming it may not be in a video, or it'll be coming to a video, or I'm not sure what. So, we got a page one and a page two. So you may you have good tidings all the way until see page two. Christmas when they start all over. Your pal, Ramblin' Backroads. Uh, so yeah, Ra, Bo, thank you very much. This is awesome. Uh, first off, I'm super excited to revisit The Mask of Zorro. Um, I know they made a sequel to this. I think it was Legend of Zorro. Uh, I don't think it was as good as this one, but let's just face it, it was Zorro. Zorro's good regardless. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. That And it has Anthony Hopkins in it. I forgot about that. And I I think I've watched Silence of the Lambs four times this past month. Like, I think I'm tied between that and The Lost Boys. Or, or like the two movies I've watched the most this month. And I just keep on watching them. It's just any time I find myself in a moment where I'm like, uh, I don't know what I want to watch. I know in the back of my mind either The Silence of the Lambs or The Lost Boys are going to get it. Uh, if it's a Friday night and I'm feeling a little bit of wine, then I've found myself re-watching and re-watching uh, Inside, uh, the Bo Burnham special that he put on Netflix. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to 
give this one a go. So this is probably going to be on a uh, an upcoming VHS rewind. So my weekly rewind. But yeah, I, I remember loving the heck out of this movie growing up. So, and <laughs> always, Bo, this is awesome. So I, I literally can't wait until... I, I have a car that I, I want to put this on more. Uh, I drive a Nissan Altima now, and while that's all well and good, eventually, and not to not to suck up to you, to the two of you wonderful people, but I've always uh, fancied myself a, a Jeep Wrangler kind of guy. I miss driving a stick, and like you know, I, I've always wanted a Wrangler. So uh, I, I'm not as well versed as the two of you in uh, the different types of Wrangler but uh but yeah it, you know if and when I get one this one's going on it so it's most likely going to be my next car uh whenever my current one craps out because I tend to drive my cars until they literally can't go anymore or the repair is just inconvenient enough that I'm just like just get me a new car or a, a, a different car so uh anyway Ra, Bo, all this wonderful goodness. I am going to find a way to hold all this. And I'm going to be like, thank you. So that's, uh, oh, I got so much stuff. And I, I had my mind on some, some hot cocoa. And since my move a couple of months ago, I, I haven't bought any hot cocoa yet. So I got a couple of hot cocos here and recently got myself a, uh, a tea kettle to uh, boil some water for uh, such beverages. So uh, anyway, Bo, Ra, thank you very much. Uh, Ramblin' Backroads, uh, I'll throw a link to their YouTube channel in the description below. Definitely check them out, they're a lot of fun. They go on adventures, uh, things that I'm wanting to do more of, uh, getting out of the house and going out to places and you know, finding uh, a bunch of cool stuff along the way. So, um, as always, thank you for stopping by the channel. Uh, again, Bo, Ra, thank you very much for this wonderful package. And, uh, you know, I, as I had mentioned to you, I'm, I'm trying to work up something to, to send your way, but I'm very fickle and picky with everything I want to put in a box. So, um, I, I have ideas. I already have a few things. So, as soon as I get that all packaged up I'll send it your way so um thank you very much uh as always everybody out there be good to one another and I'll see you next time bye